Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you as we listen to this quite uplifting music. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're looking at PGA Tour Golf. Yes, we're going to do a nice few holes of relaxing golf. Well, hopefully, I don't know. This is published by Electronic Arts in 1991. Did have a sequel called PGA European Tour, I believe, a few years later. I think that was by Ocean. Now, in all golf games, timing is, um, well, the key. They've got different uh, ways of going through. Now, I will edit the loading times on this one. So if uh, you're playing it for real, uh, don't be uh, confused if it's taking a little bit longer to load. Uh, the game has four courses. We're going to go into tournament mode. Let's just see what all these bits are. Are. Uh, also come out on the Sega Mega Drive, which you might come to, SNES, Master System, Game Gear, DOS, uh, amongst a few. Now in tournament mode, you're versus 60 opponents, which consist of real golfers. Let's go for two players. So I'll go around with at least one computer person, so if I'm rubbish at it, at least we can see one computer person. Who should we be? Who's good at golf? Well, Robocop, of course. Your shot, creep. Yeah. Um, now, I think there's a way of changing your, your top or what you look like. There's our golf uh, clubs we've been assigned. Uh, I'll agree with those. Who am I to change uh, that? Mm. Now, the, the main golf game I played back in the day was Microprose Golf. So, see how this one uh, compares. Didn't own or play a lot of golf games. This has got, I believe, maybe six, yeah, six courses there. That's good. So, let's go to Scottsdale. No course designer on this one, but never mind. Um, there's the map. Good, so like all golf games, it's really what's the control mechanism going to be like? Is it straightforward? Is it going to be frustrating? I presume uh, putting is going to be my problem, like it is with every golf game I've ever played. Welcome to the PGA Tour. Well, thank you very much. Right, so the uh, total prize money is that, which will help if I ever want to run this channel full time. That would be good. If that went into my PayPal account, it'd be game over. Hooray! Check that out, maybe. Right, prepare to begin round one. Right, so it's all the professional golfers. I'm going round with someone called Gunther, so Robocop and Gunther going round. The idea is to win and get your golf ball in the hole. I'm sure you knew about that from golf. If you had this one back in the day on any system, let me know. There's tips from Paul Azinger as we go a fly through hole one. They will give you tips. So there's 10 golfers that will give you tips on each hole, which is handy, but who reads that? Right, so the club can go 260 yards. Uh, I need to stop the map. It's all on the mouse, this. There's the map. It's all on the mouse, so I've got to stop it as uh, high as I can, and then we'll look at that wind as well. Uh, we'll keep it on driver. So one mouse click, uh, just, and then just click there. Now we have to click it on this line. Click. Right, so you need to click it bang on that line, otherwise it might go left or right. And that's a pretty good shot, isn't it, for your first go? You knock that square ball absolutely miles. Now, I've got to be pleased with that. So that bodes well from uh, at least a, um, a part review where I'm not rubbish. Right, here goes Gunther, and we're both dressed in blue, which is confusing. So I'll have to keep telling you, unless you keep an eye on it. Ah, he shots rubbish. Tough luck, Gunther. You're no, mu you're no match for Robocop. Right, so Gunther's furthest away, so he now he has to do a shot. And he stops it quite close. I think that's going to be my downfall eventually. Oh, it's, going, it's drifting a bit to the left, Gunther. And he's still in the heavy roof. It must be my shot now. So, I'm not quite for sure how far 9 I'm going. It goes 131 yards. There's my path so far, where I've gone. Good approach shot. So if I get a good one on the green, what do you think, a birdie on my first ever go? 124 yards, sir. so what do we need, about 90% of the power? I'll try, I'll try and stop it in time. Make allowance for the wind, the uh, weather and your own. Oh, so I think that's a bit too much, Nick. Well, it's a nice straight shot, but I think we've overhit that. Yeah, look, it's gone sailing over, close up of the hole, but we're on the green anyway. That's not too bad, actually. Good, a good first two shots. I'm enjoying this, and you're always going to enjoy games a bit more if you're good at them straight away, or at least sort of good at them. There goes Gunther, knocks it straight past. Went past 17 yards. So as golf games go, this one seems quite solid. Seems quite straightforward with the control mechanisms to get into it. It's not going to frustrate you too much. Oh, look, there's the green. Oh, man. Try and find your way around that, Nick. 37 feet. Hmm. Right. Okay. Right, here we go. 45 yards is the maximum. Let's do it there. Go in. Ooh. Oh, 36 feet. I'm pretty good at this, aren't I? What's going to possibly go wrong? Right, Gunther now. 
Will he get that in? It's, it's in, Gumpher. So he's parred the first hole. And I'm quite close. This is to par as well, I think. Yeah, see, that's, that's dead straight there. I should be able to do this. Five yards. That's in as well. A good round of applause from the crowd. Larry, Larry Stinker just scored an eagle. Well, well, bully for him. Right, so we both parred first uh, hole. Robocop four, Gump for four. We won't be doing the whole uh, the whole course here. We're just doing a few holes to tell you how it plays a bit because it's not about expert gameplay, although I might fluke it every once in a blue moon. It's about would you have um, liked this game back in the day as a kid? Would have been enough there for you to keep going back? And I really feel involved with this tournament, really. Rather than just me and Gumpfer going round, we are involved in this tournament at the same time. And that would uh, I'd be quite keen to try and uh, win this. This is, this is a pretty good game, this. It's a solid game from 1991, as Mark O'Meara tells us what to do here. This can be a difficult hole depending on the wind conditions. Oh, right, OK. Why is he wearing a, sh a, a, a mouth guard? I don't know. Right, so, perhaps the first hole is supposed to be easy. It's me again. 260 yards this goes. So clobber it as much as you can. There was 15 miles an hour wind blowing in our face. So, maximum power. Click the mouse. Click the mouse again on that line on the far right. Click. Click. Oops. Oh, look at that. I've hooked it. Oh, it's coming back. The wind is correcting it a bit. Come back in. Well, that's a bit of luck. Yeah, I sort of like sliced or hooked that one, but the wind corrected it for me. And it went a whopping 298 yards. Well, that's good, isn't it? I don't think, I don't think Gump's going to hit it that far. 298 yards that went. The wind really got hold of the thing. I'll pretend I did that on purpose. Gump has done a pretty standard shot straight down the middle. Golf. I've always find golf a bit boring to watch on the TV. But if they let me do the commentary on it, I'm sure it'd be a bit more interesting. Look me up, uh, Sky, or whoever's got the golf. Gump for again. In the hole. No, it's not in the hole. It's, it's into the... It's just on the fairway. Just. Last shot went 151 yards. Right, Robocop is up. Robocop, 136 yards. I can probably get this maximum whacking, can't I? Pretty much in line with the hole. At Scottsdale, I don't know where that is. This lies in a divot, so that might affect the distance a bit, I'd imagine. Wouldn't it be good if this went in? Right, I've gone for a 7-iron, which goes a bit further. So I'm trying to allow for the divot, but this all could go, this all could go hideously wrong. Nice bird sounds there. I might have done this a bit wrong here. Right, I'm hoping the divot holds it up, or it could go flying past as I try and be a bit clever. Oh, look at that. It's gone into no man's land. It's gone behind a palm tree. Oh, that was stupid. I should have... I should have uh, see, you get a bit too clever. I'm miles away. Now I've got to try and chip it over this tree. And this is this is when gold gets frustrating. It could all go hideously wrong. Oh, look, there's a bit of a hill there. Why don't you... I can chip it over there. Get over the tree. Get over... Oh, it's crashed into the tree. It's a pretty solid looking tree, actually. I think it's made out of concrete or iron. Oh no, look, this is a disaster now. This is this is for par to get it in from here. 25 yards. Hmm, okay, right, what do you need, about half? I don't know. That'll do. Go in. Ah, oh, it was good distance, but just, um, you know, I'm going to be one over on this, it seems. Gumpher's got quite a tough putt, 36 yards. Ooh, just missed Gumpher. Ah, it's gone down the hill. Uh, shouldn't laugh at someone else's misfortune, but it's Gumpher. Everyone point and laugh. Who is Gumpher anyway? He'll probably get it in now, won't he? There it goes. He's missed again. Right, that makes me feel a little bit better. Larry Stinker just scored a bogey on hole 14 to go four under par. Well, he's the leader. No Tiger Woods in this. I must get this in. Three feet. Three feet. Comment below if you've got free feet. I always like hearing from you. You'll be good in a free-legged race, I'd imagine. Right. Golf. Nice and relaxing, isn't it, golf? Unless it's um, Grand Theft Auto Five, and then someone drives a car right through and runs everyone over. Right. Bob Lowe just scored a triple bogey. Well done him. Well, good. This, this golf is worse than me, then. I've gone one over. This is Gumpfer. This is, he's bogeying as well. So we're quite similar golf players, actually, me and Gumpfer. Dun 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 Four, then a five. Four and a five. Nine. Let's go to hole three, which is the third hole on the course, if you're not rubbish at maps. There's a scorecard there. So where are we in the championship? Let's find out. 
Um, Larry Stinker is winning, or Larry Rinker, uh, 45th and 46th. Me and Gumpfer there, but there's only 62 in it. So it's, um, you can tell what hole the other golfers are on. We're all going around separately, of course. The likelihood is that I might come last, but it's my first go, and you know, you can always say I'm new in all these situations. Right, Fuzzy Zola, wasn't he in the Muppets? I think that was Fuzzy Bear, wasn't it? Maybe it's related to him. This par five can only be reached in, well, can be reached in two if you want to. Right, so solid hit again. There's the golf course, massive bunker there. Well, that's a huge bunker. There's a lot of sand in there. Right, so we need to get onto the fairway at this sort of side. You can do corrections left and right there. Change your club by going up and down with the keys. But 260. Stop it. Oh, that's going to be a massive slice. Oh dear, look at that. Massive, massive slice. Lucky it's not out of bounds there. Yes, yeah, you've got to be a bit precise with this. Um, get the timing too early on your trigger finger and you're, you're in Doomsville. Yeah, I've created a big tr problem myself. So I could be getting gradually worse. And he's hit a really good shot there. Oh, curse you, Gumpher. Look at that. Talking about rubbing it in. Squint. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. He's a good golfer. I, I may be getting golf fatigue. Look at that. I'm nowhere. Can I get it back into the same county? Look at that shot I did first. The blue line represents my first shot, my route to the hole. That's not conventional, that route. That's a disaster. That's like some, like some of my racing lines and some racing games, really. The ball lies half buried in the heavy rough. Well, we're not going to chop this out. We need, we need a hand grenade. Right, I'm, I'm not getting now. It's drifting away again. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Oh, my word. He's having a nightmare, folks. Blame the caddy. Who picked my clubs, first of all? Robocop's had a malfunction. Would have been better if he's going around with Clarence Bodiger, really. This, this Actually, the more I play this game, the more addictive it is. This is a really nice, realised golf game. Although I play Micro's Golf mainly back in the day, I think I would have preferred this one. And it makes me want to play PGA European Tour 94. If you've got like an afternoon, it'd be good to go around with a, with a friend or relative to go around and play the whole course. But it's real, real nice. I like it. Real nice. Although I'm not doing very well on this hole. But it's all about your timings. Hmm. Yeah, where's that going? Oh man, it's in, it's in the kitty litter again. It's in the sand. Mr. Salmon, give me a dream. Dooby 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 doob do, do. Look at that route I've taken. Yeah, there we go. If you're a professional golfer, write that route down. That's how you play this hole. You, you slice it into the rough, then you stay in the rough, then you stick it in a bunker, and then um, you get it in. This is this is for I think this is for a uh, a birdie. Will it go in? I think I think I see my opponent's ball there. Yeah, I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't been on the fairway at all, have I? In all of this. Yes, yeah, this is Ninkum Poopin. Right, go Gumpher. Hopefully he knocks it into those mountains in the distance. That looks that doesn't look too bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool, that was a good old shot, wasn't it? David Rummels just scored a double bogey on hole six. Well we haven't seen anything yet, commentator, what's going on here? An eagle. That's two under. Ed Fiore. Hmm. You might know these golfers. My knowledge in golf isn't great. I know the best ones. Right, this is this is for par, I think. If this goes in, I'll be extremely surprised. Away it goes. It's drifting off already. Oh, it's going down a hill. 38 yards, we're not at 35. Oh no, it's getting frustration city for me now. And this is, it looks like a tricky green to read. You can move it left and right with the F keys if you want to. But I think I've seen enough. Why are we both playing in blue? Go in, go in. Oh, seven feet, Nick. Right. As as per usual, I am getting progressively worse. So I bur no, I parred the first hole. I birdied this. I bogeyed the second one. This one. How many are we over now? It's two shots over. Oh man. Oh man. Dun 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 dun. Robocop and golf. I don't think, I might be wrong, I don't think there's a Robocop golf game. If you know, let me know. Actually, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? All-star all characters golf. You could have Robocop, the Terminator, Predator, uh, Lorraine Kelly. You could have everyone there. Uh, tough luck, Gunther. Right, okay. Nice par. He parred that in the end, did he? Oh well, what am I on? Oh my god, this this is this is for quadruple bogey if there is such a thing. 
Quadruple bogey. It's not good. Oh my word. So that's going to put me right down the order. Larry Stinker just scored a birdie. I think he's the key man in this game. Well done, Rinker. Oh, now you've seen the rink pamper, the rink eating pamper. Wasn't he a pamper ever so pink? Yeah, I've gone a bit loopy. As you tend to do. Right, if you're going to do YouTube um, all the time, over a number of years, I think I'm in year seven, yeah, say goodbye to your sanity. It, ain't, it isn't going to work. Right, so we're 61st. We're ahead of Wayne Grady, though. So in your face, Grady, but he's on hole 15. We're only on hole four. Well, I'll probably birdie all the others, won't I? Pretty much said. Right, Bruce Lezitsky tells us that this well bunkered par three. Par three, right? So we could get a hole in one. I think it's a dead cert, to be honest. A dead cert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on, Gumper. This is Gumper. Good approach. Good, good approach shot. He's got the distance. He's a bit to the left. He's got a, he's got a, a vague chance of a birdie as Larry Rinker's showing off again, getting birdies everywhere. We have to play the birdie song, right? Here's me. Hmm. Right. Okay. So over the sand, 149 yards. That looks a bit less. It looks straight enough. No, it's drifting a bit to the right. I'll settle with it. I'll settle with it. We're not. We're not on the green. We're not. We're further away from Gumper. But if I do a nice approach shot, it could be a par. Fourteen yards. This thing can go twenty-five. Judge it on the bar. There's the green there. What does that look like? A bit slopey again. Right. No, stay where you are. Oh no. My Jew though is a chuck. Yeah. Gumper's further away than me. And just see my ball there, the other side. Gumpher's missed it. That was for birdie, though. So he's going to get a par on that as Tommy Amar the third just scored a birdie on hole nine to go four under par. I haven't checked my score. Am I four under par? I must be quite close. Right, this is for par. That means level if you're not a golf person. Go, Robo. Oh, no. I just hit that bit harder. Just hit that bit harder, it would have been good. One moment, please, as it loads. There we go. So another bogey for me. We've got we've got a lot of bogeys here. Maybe I should see someone. Okay, and Gump forgets it. I think I think we do just one more hole. One more hole, I think. Yeah, one more hole. You've got the general idea. I would recommend this game. It's good. I you know, I feel involved in the tournament. Uh, if I was doing it again, spend a bit more time, I'd like to get uh, good at the thing. Gumpher's 48, we're last. Oh man, last? Yeah, well, 66, yeah, plus six on hole number five. Hmm, okay. Okie dokie. Now, Mark Cucumber tells us the long par four is most difficult when there is a strong prevailing wind. Thanks, Cucumber. Right, uh-huh, uh-huh. Gumpher to shoot first. Check out the wind. It's going to go slightly drifting. Was it flying against us slightly to the left? Ball's going slightly to the left as well, but it's going to stay on the fairway. Good first shot. I mean, that's pretty much like the shot I did on the first hole all those minutes ago when I seem to be quite good at the game. Uh, right. So a lot of sand in Scottsdale. Yeah. If you want to day out at the beach, but you're too far from the beach and live near Scottsdale... Oh, look at that. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, dear. That's not good, is it? I pressed it too early. I've messed up my chances, and there's his ball in the distance. Yeah, I was trying to select a different club here. Well, it's not all is lost. It all looks... Lo oh, it's gonna oh, where's it going now? Oh, man. I'm doing lots of swerve shots. Do you know what, right? I don't think I'm this bad. I think Darth Vader's at the course um, with the force, and he's just bending the ball in all different directions to make me look stupid. I think he's got a big bet going on. If you are Darth Vader watching below, then curse is you. As all look, but, um, yeah. Okay. Right, Robocop from the rough. This is stroke three on a par four. So I've only got two shots to get this in. Look at that. This needs to be a really, really, really good shot, or else, or it's Doomsville for the tournament. 
Uh, out of all 60 competitors, I am uh, comfortably in 60th six, place, which is pretty good going. It's because I had a few stinkers, you know. Oh, go in, go in the hole. There it comes, drop. Oh, it's kicked forward. It's kicked forward. May I, if I give it a little bit less strength. So on this game, once you add a few goes and you get used to the strength to hit the, the ball at, I mean, it's quite handy. It tells you the maximum it can go in, in, in the orange there on the left of the power bar. Once you get used to that, I think you'll be steaming around this game with quite a lot of skill. Highly recommended. It's a good one. It's a good one. I think this game's been played through a recommendation. I wouldn't have played it otherwise. We still need to play leaderboard, I think, as another a golf game. But yeah, good. I think it'd be, leaderboard would be a tough place to play this one, to beat this one. But yeah, good, good. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Why didn't I get that in? 56 feet. And I needed to get it 54 feet. I'm quite pleased with that putt. Talking at the same time obviously helps me. Okay. Right, what shots is I think I'm one over. Yeah, this is, this is for bogey again. Yeah, bogey. So I'm on the I'm on the outskirts. I'm on the outskirts of good play. I mean, for a first go, this is quite impressive. And this has been my first go as a kid. Um, I definitely would have come back quite a few times. And I, I probably would have played it more than Micropro's goal, to be fair. Might be one of those arguments, not maybe as strong as what's the best out of kickoff two and sensible soccer, but it's pretty much pretty much close there. I mean, 27. So what I did I did par, one over, loads over, one over, one over. Yeah, you know, it's doable. I think you could uh, get that back. Good. Always go around with Gumper. That's my uh, thing. He's in 46th place, and I'm I'm oh, I'm last. Hmm. Well, I hope you like having a look at that one. I'm I'm impressed with that. It's a good game to track down if you're into golf games. Then yeah, um, a well worthy a play. So I hope you like to have a look at that game. As I say, that was PJ Tour Golf on the uh, Commodore Amiga, published by Electronic Arts in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or golf? Then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond from me and Gumper. Goodbye. Goodbye.